welcome to Forecasting 2021-2022 for Henrietta Lacks Health and Bioscience High School. Hi, kids. Um, we are your counselors. I am Connie Hennessy. I am the counselor for all students with last name starting with A through L. And you can see my contact address, my contact information on the screen. And I am Miranda Cervantes, and I have the students with the last name M through Z, and my contact information is here. Thank you for being here. So we're going to go over our, high, our Gila High School graduation requirements. These are a little bit different than the rest of the district because of our program of study. But in general, you all need four years, four credits of English, three credits of math, three credits of science, three credits of social studies, two credits of the Gila program of study, um, one to two credits of art, two if, if that's your, your uh, personal pathway. Um, health and fitness, you need two. 1.5 of those are PE and health, which you earn through medical science. Career and tech ed, one credit. World language, two credits. Um, unless you choose not to head towards a four-year university and want to use a different personal pathway for those credits, and then four electives for a total of 26 credits. These are your additional graduation requirements. In the past, you have had a state assessment to pass this spot here, but it's also just one option of eight in order to get this graduation requirement. There's eight pathways here. Um, for most students, number eight, which is career and technical education course sequence, is met at the end of your sophomore year. Um, every student is required to take medical science as a freshman, and sophomore year, you're required to take uh, sorry, anatomy and physiology. With those two courses, you already meet this graduation pathway. Um, as long as you pass your courses. All of these other ones are different options that you can take as well. High school and beyond plan, that's finalized during your senior year. And then Washington State History, which is typically done in seventh grade in Evergreen Public Schools within your humanities block. So difference between high school graduation requirements and four-year Washington College requirement, uh, admissions requirements are listed here we just reviewed the high school graduation requirements. You'll see one of the big differences is the world language, two plus years of the same world language is required by all four-year universities. Community colleges, no, but four-year un year universities, yes. Um, so you wanna make sure that the classes that you're taking are meeting up for the most part, that's already baked into your schedule. Um, so the entrance requirements for each college or university other than the six four-year Washington universities may be different. And it's important to research each institution's admissions requirements. And there's a tool in Zello to help you track whether you are on track for meeting the four-year Washington University requirements. Additional four-year college entrance requirements. Um, those classes that Hennessy just mentioned are caters, um, those are your English, your math, your science, social studies, art, and world language. Um, and your caters are indicated on your transcript and they're designated with a B next to the courses. Um, additionally, you have a minimum GPA of a 2.0. Uh, please do your research though and make sure that that is um, actually true for your college or university that you're applying to many may require a higher GPA than a 2.0. And then additionally, you have SAT or ACT testing for certain universities, um, and all of those are accessed. You can access those websites via our website for the counseling department. Um, we have links for you to be able to register for those. So as you know, the typical course plan at Gila, we have certain classes that you take in specific grades. So ninth grade, you're taking English, world history, and or AP human geography, math, chemistry, and medical science, and two electives. Sophomore year is the same, except for social studies, you take US history, and instead of chemistry, it's biology or AP biology, anatomy, phys, instead of med science, and then two electives. But when you move into your junior year, you get to begin on your program of study pathway. Um, 
Again, you'll need to take English. You can choose to take AP government um, your junior year and possibly CWI if we offer it for juniors um, and, rec and math. And then science electives, program of study, world language if you wanna pop it in there and other science electives. Grade 12, pretty much the same as grade 11. Um, finish out your program of study. You can see there's room in the schedule for multiple programs of study. So you're not limited to just one. Course types, regular core courses, high school courses accepted by college admission standards. You have honors courses. Gila doesn't have any except for your freshman year. English is coded as honors, um, advanced placement. We offer a, a selective group of AP courses, and those are courses that you can take an exam for and receive college credit for. Dual credit, um, we have a few of those courses as well. That's where it's college and the high school, basically. We're going to list those courses for you here in a second. Consider the demands. It's a super important of your school, sports, and family schedules when choosing these advanced courses. Dual credit options. These are ones that you earn high school and college credits for. So if you take College 101 at Gila, you can also earn college credit for College 101 at Clark College. Um, Anatomy and Physiology and Med Science earn you, I think it's about 12 to 15 Clark credits. Um, and Office Procedures um, can also earn a college credit. Advanced placement options. These are all of the AP courses that we offer. A couple I wanna note are chemistry and physics. Those are courses that we don't offer every year, but we offer every other year and they um, are opposite of each other. For example, last year we offered chemistry. Sorry, when I say last year, this year we offered physics, which is an odd year. Just think of the AP exam in May um, would be the year that 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 class is off, uh, available, excuse me. So physics is offered this year, next year we will offer chemistry. And same with our AP language and composition and AP literature and composition. This year we are offering AP literature and next year we will offer AP language and composition. So our programs of study, just a quick review, biotechnology, biomedical engineering, pharmacy, public health, and nursing and patient care. And again, those are the classes that you begin taking your junior year and you take a credit junior year, credit senior year. Freshman year required courses. English is a requirement. These are your five courses that are required, FYI. You have English, so that's honors English nine. Math, and that's all dependent on the math that you took eighth grade year. Um, science, there's two science courses. That's your chemistry course, as well as medical science. And then social studies, you will choose between world history or AP human geography. Sophomore required courses, sophomore English, U.S. history, again, the next math in your math sequence, and science you take either biology or AP biology and AP human geog geography, and then you have two electives as well as you do freshman year. Awesome. And junior year required courses, English, junior English is one of the options, or you can choose between um, an AP course. So again, remember the odd even years. So AP language and composition or AP literature and composition, depending on the, the year that it's offered. Social studies, you can do AP government. Um, and then we are also forecasting for CWI as juniors. That's an option for you. We will review the numbers and see if we can offer it junior year as well. Math, uh, that next course sequence, that uh, math sequence that you're in, and then science elective, as well as a program of study. And again, we just covered all of those programs of study. So senior year, your required courses are, again, your fourth year of English, and there are three options senior year. Senior English, again, whichever AP English class is offered that year, and creative writing which you can take as an elective other years, but it only counts as an English credit when you take it senior year. Social studies, if you haven't taken it junior year, you can take um, 
CWI, which is this year split into one semester of civics and one semester of CWI, but you need both, or AP, government, and politics, if you didn't take it junior year. Um, you finish your program of study, and then any um, year independent courses, which are your PE and art, um, and possibly language courses, and then you can fill in with other electives. Also, we recommend that you take a quantitative course for university-bound students, and that is usually a math class or um, it could be specific science classes. For 12th grade students, other graduation support. So uh, we offer PE waivers for a few reasons. It could be medical, religious, military, enrollment, um, athletic, uh, participation in high school or in a club team or program, um, good academic standings. All of those are our case by case basis and you can bring that information to Hennessy or I, your counselors, to get that information. Eighth grade high school credits, if you took physics or um, geometry or algebra one or a world language, I believe are offered in eighth grade, we can bring those credits up. There's reasons why or why, why we would or why we wouldn't. Um, and those are case by case basis. Make sure you schedule an appointment with one of us to talk about that. And then another important thing is that volunteer hours are not required anymore in order to graduate. So you don't need them, though. It's always nice to make sure that you get out there in your community and get involved. Um, it's not a requirement for graduation, but it's a great way to to get out there and build community. And remember to talk to us if you have any questions or you want to explore these options. So that's our presentation for forecasting as far as classes go. Hennessy and I are going to do our best to, um, we're gonna post another video on the instructions for Zello. So thank you for being here. Bye. Turn, stop recording. I'm gonna do that, stop recording. <laughs>